Hey everybody, Kevin here with Your Best Groove and Groove Tutorials with five things you probably didn't know about GroovePages 2.0. But before I get into that, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the tutorials, any of the videos that we're coming out with about Groove Pages, Groove Funnels, and all of the Groove apps. All right, let's take a look at five things you may not know about Groove Pages 2.0. All right, number one, you may not know that in GroovePages 2.0, we got this amazing plethora of buttons. Watch this. If we go over and we select buttons and you scroll down through here, all of these buttons are completely pre-designed with everything you need to just drag them on the page and use them. We used to ha just have this where you had to start from scratch. Now we can go to designed, pull them on the page. So. For example, we might just go here and grab this solid button, drag it onto the page, and drop it. You can see, because there's no spacing, but you can see now I have an active button that you can hover over and it's going to change colors, and then you can work with your settings. So number one, you may not have known there are all of these formatted buttons you can pull right on the screen. Number two, there's another element that is already pre-formatted for us that's amazing, which is the countdown timers. So if you go to the countdown timers, you have all of these options that you can drag onto your page. So for example, I might go here and grab this red one, pull it onto the page, and drop it. I just dropped a nicely formatted countdown timer, and it didn't take me but a couple of seconds to pull that on. And I can configure it and go on with building my page. All right, you may not have known, this isn't new, uh, with 2.0, but you may not have known that there's this progress bar that's out there. And so I'm going to show you. If you go down to other, there's this element called progress. And when you pull it on your page, it shows up as progress 50. And you can configure it so that it's any number you want as progress. So let's do 25 on this one and make sure we change this to 25% and update. Now you can see that progress is 25. So you can use this on an upsell page. You can use this on an ups a bump. Whatever you want to do where you want to give them, say, hey, you're 25% you're of the way through, you can give them a progress bar. One of the other really cool things in 2.0 that you may not know about is tabs. And so you can build your page out. And for example, if you have done for you services, it will show up as done for you. But if they're interested in done with you services, click the tab, we show that. Do it yourself, click the tab, we show that. And I used ugly colors just to show you the difference. And I built these tabs completely with what's called a tabs element. And we're going to go down here to tabs. We have a container, headings, and content. So you may not have known about these four elements, the button, the timer, the progress, and the tabs. But the fifth thing that you may not know about in GroovePages 2.0 is this. Once you reformat the button, so you can see I changed the color on it just to show you that I formatted it myself. You can now click the star and you can save your element into a template or into the uh, list of elements that you can choose. So let's go ahead and call this button. Uh, we're going to call this my cool button and we're going to put it in the buttons section and create the element. All right, now when we go over to elements, and we go to buttons. The first thing that shows up is saved buttons. I can just drag this button onto my page over and over without ever having to format it again. You may not have known that you have all of these styled buttons. You may not have known you have all of these styled countdowns. You may not have known there's this progress bar. And you might not have known that in 2.0 we can do these really cool tabs onto the same page. Finally, you may not have known that you can save any element to a template that you can use over and over on your site. All right, those are five things. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. I want to remind you that we do a free workshop every third Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I would love to have you join that. If you go to yourbestgroove.com slash free workshop, you can get involved. The link is in the description. Click on the link, join the workshop, get to know how to build a page, how to collect emails, and how to sell your product with all within Groove. All right, let's groove.